Much has been made about the Minnesota Fighting Vikings defensive line this offseason. Everson Griffin, Yigon, Yannick Ngakwe. Come on down, baby. Let's go. Linval Joseph, love you. Respect you. You're gone. Uh, enjoy retirement out in Los Angeles. Well, basically retirement. Playing for the Chargers is essentially retirement. Don't at me. Michael Pierce, you're in. And then Michael Pierce, you're gone. Right, So now the Vikings are, were all hyped up about the edge rushers. Daniil Hunter, Yannick Ngakwe could be the best uh, edge rushing duo in the NFL. Sprinkle in Afadio Denebo, and woo, you're off to the races. But, aha, the true X factor on the Vikings defensive line this season could be fourth-year pro Jaleel Johnson. Uh, now, he is uh, penciled in as a starting three-tech. Uh, looks like it's going to uh, uh, stay that way uh, beginning the season, uh, which he was phenomenal playing uh, primarily three technique uh, in college at Iowa. He had seven and a half sacks, uh, 10 tackles for loss his final season, Iowa City 2016. Uh, was a fourth-round pick by the Vikings 2017. And now, uh, final year of his rookie deal, of course, of course, uh, with Michael Pierce gone, uh, Jaleel Johnson, who actually took the most nose tackle snaps of any player on the Vikings rooster last season with 133, Shamar Stephens primarily, primarily used as a three tech. So he's going to have massive opportunity up and down the entire defensive line. And I say up and down because he's also in training camp taking a couple snaps uh, with the edge rushers. So now it's perhaps foreshadowing his usage as a five tech. Uh, I don't see him as a wide nine anytime soon, but as a five tech, AKA a 3-4 uh, defensive end. Uh, Dom Capers talked about throwing in some interesting fronts there. So if the Vikings go 3-4, if they go 3-3 three, uh, three or just three-man fronts in general, Jaleel Johnson uh, could be anchoring just outside of that tackle box, which is going to be great. I mean, you know, typically you don't typically see 320-pound uh, defensive ends in 4-3 fronts. So this is exciting. This is great. And Jaleel blossoming in year four as the sort of jack of all trades up and down that defensive line. It's going to be great. And I think it's going to be a monster get for the Minnesota Fine Vikings defensive line this year. And with Jaleel, like we mentioned, fourth round pick out of Iowa, started out of the gates pretty slow his first two seasons. Essentially, redshirted his first year, started getting in the mix a little bit in 2018. But last year, 2019, year three, it was the boom. So career high in snaps, 433. Career high in tackles with 29. Career high in pressures with 11, as well as uh, in sacks with three and a half. And with him being a de facto starter this year, both on paper as well as on purpose, uh, you could see him getting 600 plus snaps this season. And uh, I do think that he is underrated as a pass rusher. Uh, I think that he has, does have some really nice wiggle and get off uh, from that three tech spot and to a degree from nose, uh, and, but also does certainly need to anchor better in terms of the run game. Uh, he has uh, PFF run uh, defense grades of 43.7 and 52.9 uh, last two seasons respectively. Uh, but you know, I think beyond Armand Watts, uh, I think beyond Afadi kicking inside, which he had great success uh, doing last year, and maybe even Hercules Mata'afa getting into the mix, Jalil is the Vikings' best option for having an interior pass rush. And, uh, yeah, everyone and their mom, we're all hyped about Yannick. We're all hyped about Daniil. We're all hyped about Afadi on the edge. But you need that interior push. You, you need that to complement the edge. Because otherwise, uh, offenses are just going to be like, all right, so... You can bring stank, you can bring heat off the edge, but you can't get a push inside. Okay, we'll, we'll deploy uh, our, our um, uh, you know, pass blockers accordingly, and we'll make line calls accordingly. But if num number 94, either from 3-tech, either from nose, either from 5-tech when the Vikings go 3-4, I mean, if he could just bring stank from wherever he is, that is a monster asset, as well as uh, if he can hold up better in the run game, it's going to be phenomenal, uh, especially uh, if the Vikings are moving towards a, a little bit lighter uh, defensive ends. You look at Wadham, you look at uh, James Lynch, you look at obviously Yannick Ngakwe, uh, as well as uh, Afadi is not the heaviest edge uh, rusher in the world either. Just having some semblance of balance, uh, of being able to hold up against the run, having some size in on the interior, as well as getting after the passer, it's going to be big. It's going to be big. So, yeah, again, just watch your little Johnson bang it out, have a nominal year, have a 10-sack season, be uh, a Pro Bowl alternate in his final uh, year of his rookie deal, and then hit free agency, and then, of course, of course, but it's okay. All in on 2020, worry about next offseason, next offseason. Let's go. Woo! All right, so your thoughts. Uh, Jaleel Johnson being the X-Factor in the Vikings defensive line. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull us on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.